Today we're reviewing the Stinky Gaming Footboard. What is it? Exactly what the name says. A board that you put on the ground, connect to your PC, map some keys, and instead of using your keyboard, you just press the buttons with your feet. So let's have a look at what's in the box. So first off, very simple box, very light, uh, only weighs 3.5 pounds, about 1.59 kilograms. We have the board. Very simple design for buttons. In the back you have where you connect your USB wire. These are four springs that you can adjust using the provided Allen key. And here you have very simple mini USB wire. This end connects to the board, this end to your computer, really basic. The Allen key. And then it comes with uh, sets of extra springs with different pressure from uh, super soft, like the blue here, to a bit more sturdy or harder. Here. So it comes with uh, pre installed two of the greens and two of the blues. You can switch them up for these. And if you want extra springs, you can uh, order them off the Stinky Board website. So essentially, this board is plug and play. It comes preloaded with drivers for Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, Macintosh drivers are in the work, they will come later. Off the Stinky Board website, you just download a little software to manage your key mapping. You can, have, you can save several profiles depending on which game you're playing, which kind of mapping you want. Using the board itself, one of the settings you can do is put it widthwise. Then use your feet to rock forward and backward. Turn around to hit the side buttons. Or you can use both feet. I don't find this very comfortable. The way I found it most comfortable to use is lengthwise, where you can just easily rock your foot back and forward. What I preferred to do was put my two most used abilities on the front button and the back button. Mostly the back button, I found it really easy to rock to my heel. And then some side abilities that I want to use once in a while, but not often, on both side buttons. I played Guild Wars 2 and Torchlight 2, and um, for me, the best setup, the one I found most comfortable, was to put my healing abilities on the back and front buttons. If you're familiar with Guild Wars 2, every character has a self-heal ability that is automatically set to the sixth button on the keyboard. So not the numpad on the side, but the row of numbers on top of the keyboard which for me is a bit hard to access just with my fingers. So I put that on the back pedal, on the front button, put a shield, so I stop taking damage. I put secondary actions on the sides. I play an elementalist, so I put my signet to remove all condition damage on the right, my summon elemental on the left. To ease the transition into another game, I played Torchlight 2. I put my healing spells on the back and front pedal, so that way I have the same reflex to hit the back or the front when I start taking too much damage. Now, for the product itself, it's well made, very sturdy, it can take the abuse, it can take your weight, I can guarantee it. It has a gratifying clicking sound, it really feels like a controller. This does require a learning curve. You need to remap your brain to go not just to your hands, but also to your foot. I did what the website suggested. You start with one button, and then you add more, and then you add more. If you're set up with two screens, I kept the mapping software open so that I remember which key does what. And I would say that after about 30 minutes to an hour of gameplay, I had the back and the front pedal down. I didn't even think about it, started taking damage, boom, healing, still taking damage, boom, second heal or shield. Like I said, I didn't use the side button so much. I find them a bit weird to access by the rocking your heel or moving your feet, but front and back really got used to it really fast, really natural. Simple construction, simple software, plug and play, automatic driver recognition, it's all good. But $100, is it worth it? I say it's a nice to have. If you're a serious gamer and you play online a lot, first person shooters, MMORPGs like Guild Wars 2 or World of Warcraft, definitely consider the Stinky Board. I also see this as a great tool for people that have uh, reduced mobility in their hands. It's probably gonna give them the opportunity to play games that they couldn't play before just because of complex key mapping system. If you wanna learn more about the Stinky Gaming Footboard, you can find out more at stinkyboard.com. Uh, it's a great 
little product, Canadian company, started with a Kickstarter project. If you're a serious gamer, look into it.